All right, guys, so today we're gonna change the brake pads and rotors on the 2002 Ford Mustang. So first thing you wanna do is jack it up and take the tires off. Safety first, guys. All right, safety first, guys. Make sure to always have something under the car uh, just in case the jack messes up, you know. So I'd recommend putting your tire under it. And even better, if you have, if you have one of these, now's a good time to use it. All right, so next thing you should do is make sure you have two 12 millimeters um, for these two bolts. And we're just gonna quickly take those off to take the calipers off. What you might wanna do is use a 16 millimeter right here just to hold it down. And then that makes it really easy. So you can go ahead and take this one out. Same thing with the other one. All right, so we're just gonna take this off now. All right, so now you just take these off. Take the other one off as well, right back here. And you're just gonna take off the brake caliper and you're gonna set it up here. Make sure not to mess up anything up so uh, this line doesn't get messed up. your brake pads and then you got two bolts back here they're both 15 millimeters so you just gotta take them off real quick and quick tip guys remember lefty loosey righty tidy same on the back side just remember you're on the back side so it's opposite Alright, so now we just take it off. There we go. And as you can see right back here, these are really worn. Like it's it's smooth right here and it's really worn here from the brakes being so low. But just remember guys, if you ever hear any kind of grinding, it's time to change it. And I mean grinding, not the squeaking that happens from the brakes. Alright guys, and here are the new ones. These are the the gold Duralast ones. They were pretty good. So basically, it's, it's just as simple as the same way that you put them on. Just same way you're gonna put them back on. All right guys, these were the back ones. Sheesh, look at that. Don't ever let this happen. This is the new ones. Just, just look at that. I don't know if y'all can see that, but nothing left on there. Don't ever let that happen. These are the, the front side ones, or like the ones that are on this side of me, not behind it. And these still had a little bit of life in them, but uh, I mean, yeah. The other ones, I really don't know what ended up happening. They must have just never changed them out right or something. But here are the new ones, and 
I'm about to get them back on. First thing you want to do is put the bracket back on. Next thing you want to do is uh, compress these in with a C-clamp or something. Remember to get it on something hard, like the back of these bolts over here, just so you don't mess up anything. And just compress it in, kind of regular. All right, after that, all we're gonna do, you're gonna get your brake pads, I'm gonna put them back on. Uh, the ones without the pins right there are gonna go on the back side. Carefully put these back on. You're actually gonna wanna take these out right here. Um, these little pins. They just kinda have a little kind of boot. You just kinda wanna grease them up um, just cause they are probably gonna be a little dry and it's something pretty easy to do. You might actually wanna do it before you put it back on. Now we're gonna throw these bad boys back on. And then we're basically just gonna start again. We're just put these back in, these were the 12 millimeter ones. I'm gonna get those back in. Should be pretty easy. Make sure they're nice and tight, but don't overdo it because you don't want to strip these. So just get your 12 millimeter. Just gonna tighten them up. You might still want to hold them with the 16 millimeter. All right guys, so that's basically it. Um, we're just gonna put the tire back on and we're gonna go from there. Terms you're gonna wanna lower it and then re-tighten them. You know, I saw this TikTok with this girl that did, did it all the way around in a circle. Obviously guys, we all know that's not right. Crisscross, star method, whatever you wanna call it. All right, guys, and that's basically it. And just make sure, I don't know if I already said, um, since we did um, squeeze back in those little plunger things, uh, you need to press on the, the pedal just a few times just to, for them to kind of clamp back on themselves, and you should be good to go. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe, comment below what you want to see next, and make sure to like it if it helped you out. All right, guys. Have a great day.